Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Matty J Play, some more PGA Tour 2K23. It is that time of season again. The Diamond Pond Divisions are in the playoff stages. Um, I think they finished fourth in the season, so I get a two or three stroke gift to me at the start of this competition. But Chris74 Jones has got a five or six stroke start, so probably no catching him. But we do have one of Architect Maze's courses in the playoff, which I do enjoy, the Fighting Fifth Major. So it's for the Major Design Competition by my boy Steve Manley. And sometimes in collab with Ohio State Mike. So let's get this underway. Let's see what we can do. Usually in these divisions, guys, it is on pro. You have to shoot 18 under. Um, but on a major course like this, it's probably normally around 12 to 14 maybe 16 under to, to be competitive um the 11 mile per hour wins let's see how we get on there into the short stuff oh. on from there. don't know if we can get round that tree and we can't really play short down here so i'm gonna play the 258 down here this feels like the play let's see so on pro you'll see me swinging a bit more loosely guys i guess being a bit loosey-goosey with the old swing Oh, this is a long opener. Oof. That's the 215. Get me up there. Do I have to? I'm going to loft up the 231. Well, that's a nice swing. I need the wind to just bring me back and hold me up. Is it going to do its job? And this should kick at the pin. Oh, it's done its job beautifully. And that is beautifully judged. Oh, oh my, that would have been a nice well eagle. Well done. Sadly, if some butts and monkey nuts, I haven't held one out for a long time in this game, guys. That's why I've been struggling and the pro divisions I'm in. Because um, eagles have just eluded me. Um, I'm a birdie master. In a few of the leagues, I'm leading in birdie conversions and birdies, but I'm not making any eagles. So, and that is what is crippling me. So 177 into a 12. So that's 190 at least. Let's play the 193. Bang up. Too fast. It could be long. I think this one's found the dance floor. It's not holding. It's not holding. That was a poor oh, choice. Didn't work, didn't work out as I hoped either, John. Sadly. But we can splash this in. Haven't had one of these for a while either. So it's about damn time. Let's Lizzo it. Oh! <laughs> it just... How it's how did that stop like that oh that's unbelievable i know how it stopped like that for full spin on it but oh that's disappointing it looked like it had more more speed in it so chris is six through ten so i've got to finish three shots ahead of him at the halfway mark in these playoffs there's two rounds in the playoffs so i've got to be nine under through ten um now if i can find this bit of fairway down here you're laughing but it's a tricky shot to get in in this little crevice, but we're going for it. Oh my so we're swinging okay. We're swinging okay. We found the sliver of fair where you wanted to find amongst all those bunkers. And we have a 258 in. This is going to catch me no matter what I do. But let's step on the 258 and see, see if we can get it up there. Not that far right. Now the wind should bring me back around. Is is it going to get up there with 100% power? I don't think so. It's not making it up that hill. Well, but it does stop just at the... Now. Wow, I thought that was coming back. Work indeed. This next putt so it says it's a foot up, easy. but let's have a look if it truly is a foot up. No, guys, it's seven inches. So the beauty of this game is it does round up. So if you are putting, there's a little hint for you there. I always like to add um, a foot a foot for every inch so i will go out to i'll reset that putt and go out to 34 and we'll go 35 because it's a little uphill and i want to give it a bit of power and we'll try and read this it ducks so hard at the hole this is like linford christie ducking for the line in the 92 olympics looking very nice mm. sadly not and a difficult one back too for a birdie so greens are going to be challenging round is going to be challenging are we up to said challenge let's find out 
par three fourth coming up. And it is a still a beautiful course. These guys are at the pinnacle of their design in careers right now, if you ask me. Vintage Tech and Chris 74 Jones, eight and eight through 11. I'm sure Chris was just six through 10, so he's they eagled that both of them. I'm sure they both were six through 10, so fair play. All right, let's play the, oh my God. I'm going to have to loft up the 151 and hope, hope this sticks on the green. Beautiful swing. This has just got to sit down now. I'll take any putt at it, to be fair. A little off, off track, but perfect yardage. About 17 feet to the cup. So these are the putts you got to make on pro. 145 greens, which I do like. They are a green speed I am familiar with. And like some of the ones I play on. Let's head towards oh, it's a glorious putt. Nice back -back and we're battling, we're fighting, we're fighting at the fighting fifth. So that makes you three under for the it's living up to its name. Let's see if we can live up to our name. Matty J plays. Nine under through 12, nine under through 12. Those boys are flying. I finished either first or first. I've never finished first. I finished second or third in my opening few seasons in this division, but this year I've really struggled. Um, it's come at the time with my bad back and changing my controllers and trying to find my swing and time and stuff. So there's the excuses out the way for you, but I've also just not been playing very well. So let's hit the 170 up here. Hope this is enough. The slow and wind will bring me back to the hole. That slow is going to help me out, actually. That's a nice shot. Without the slow, would have been better. Terrible swing line, by the way. But it has gone that way this week. and tends to be worse on the weekends, which is where we are. Playing this major on a Saturday. And that is an awful putt from me. Look how fast that's moving looking back. It was not moving like that when I was playing it. Wow. Wow. It was not moving like that when I played it, because I would have given it more break. But all right, we're three through five. Chris is nine through 13, so guys are struggling. It is a course that you're not going to, to make up the six shots or whatever it is I need to make up on Chris is going to be difficult on this course. But we have a short par four here, 369 yards. So let's play this one right into the front of that, into that front of that bunker. Should sneak right. And just kick out to the left from here. I'm hoping this tree isn't in play. No, we're good. Play this dead up. Dead up. That should be good. A little bit short. Didn't expect the wind to impact it that much. It doesn't usually. Um, with my pitching wedge. Pitching wedge with my lob wedge in hand, so that was a surprise for me that the wind had that much impact. Now the last green surprised me how much it turned, so I'm giving it more, more break this time. It looks like it's breaking less than it is. Four under through six. All right, we're on it. Vintage Tech has taken the lead as well. Nice to see him and Chris Seventy Four Jones pretty much have this society sewn up between the two of them until I came along. Um, I've been kind of separating the two or they've not been playing um, in the last few seasons but they're both back clearly at the top of their game right now and Matty J might have to just buy it his time until next season because I just wasn't good enough this year all right so 193 feels the club again make sure we get there that slow is going to be okay Bring us back round to the left and give us another probably 10, 15 foot putt. Sweet. 14 footer. 14 foot. There we go. Got to make these. I'm not peppering pins today, so my putter needs to be hot. The old flat stick. This one's on a good line. And it overturned again. I remembered on the last hole to play that. The extra break, but not on this hole. Left to go. And that's a shame. That was an opportunity. Nice, and being four under through seven is not good. We need two birdies now on the four, right on the eighth and ninth. Under par for the day. 
try and stay up with these boys. 12 for 15 and 12 for 15 is just incredible scoring around here. And as I said, Chris has got plus 6, so he's at 18 through 15. So you ain't getting near that, boys. I think Chris wants his title back. He's been flying in a couple of the other pro divisions I'm into, so fair play to him. The guy is a top quality pro player, and I know he does play in plat as well, and I'm pretty certain he's a top quality plat player too. So, the guy's got some skills, but so have we. Let's put this close. I felt myself super slow down. I'll be lucky if that gets up. That's got to kick on somewhat. Yeah. Here we go. This putt for Lucky it got up that hill, but we're 18 foot away. And as I said, guys, just not quite at the races with my swing of late. I don't know what's happened to it. It's just been a bit shonky. That, that is a technical term, but my putting's not shonky. Not at all. Okay, five under par at the moment. Five under through eight, all right. Wind's blowing from our backs on this one. Ooh. Oh, it's a big tree of Jesus. This is, oh, we can, we can clear. We'll just step on this and clear this bunker. Not even gonna, not even gonna mess around with this. Should clear it easy enough. This one looks pretty good. Should be in the fairway. But how do we get around these trees? Is the next okay, <laughs> the next one? Does it clear them? Oh, I don't know if it does. Again, gonna have to loft it up. I hope it clears them. Not at all. Yeah, I'm not sure where this one's uh, going. That is annoying placement of some trees, architects maze. <laughs> when you're 200 yards out, guess that's the point. Guess I didn't want anyone. Having an easy ride on this hole. My bad. Didn't play the great shot, really. Put myself slap bang behind the trees. But hopefully this just kicks up and stops near the pin. Oh, put, I finally got some action on the spin on an 88 yarder. Well, we've made a meter of this. Can we get a birdie? Let's see. No, that's a terrible read again. We are not reading these greens. I said I could read 155s, but these feel like they're moving a bit differently to me. They're moving mad. As the kids say, these greens are moving mad. And I have five under through nine, and that is not going to be good enough, my friends. But like I said, it was a season that wasn't good enough. Not my performance here, really. Although, technically. So Chris is at 20 under. Um, if you add his six shots in... <laughs> <laughs> okay, lengthy power four ahead of us here. Oh, well. Oh, my God. What are they doing putting trees in the way? I don't know what I don't know what shot you're supposed to play or how Chris even navigated this. I'm going to loft it up and see if it goes through these trees. I mean, what are you supposed to do here? Try and get it through this gap. Oh. That's not bad. I mean, wasn't quite showing sure those wins what I was supposed to do, but I've still got 230 in. I'm going to hit 258. Don't know how people are scoring what they've scored on this course. Fair play to these boys. Like I said, there's some quality pro. Oh, that's going to be disastrous. It's got to come round and slow down somehow. Where's those 14 mile per hour wins, game? That's off the back. Let's have to crack a jack back. Okay. Let's go. No worries. We'll be on Chipping the skills, though. Enough. Literally. This is our third shot. Probably the best chipper on the game now. I'm not, guys. That is sarcasm once again. Good job with that chip shot. Just getting, as you can tell, a little frustrated by my golf and by the course, which is by design. I keep ending up with trees in my way, but everyone else will have the same problem. Well, unless they play much better shots than I've been playing. It was a good effort to try and thread the needle, but Chris ended up at 15, guys, with his six strokes. That's him at 21, and uh, um, there's no coming back from that. Well, let's see if you can use the tailwind on this hole. There's no coming back from that. He went cold for a bit, old Chris. 
for his game anyway um, but he is back flying so what you do here if you play it up here are the trees in the way i oh, sod it you can't go round them does people know something i don't is there a way down here oh that's just risky that's virtually impossible gonna have to play up past these trees somehow Let's hope this gets enough clearance past the trees to give me a shot into the screen. Second shot here on the 11th. We do have a shot in. Hmm. A little 231. I loft it. And pray. Pray that the slow and the wind help me out here. And they should. And this should be a good shot in. That's a good shot. That is a good shot into this par 5 and gives us an opportunity if we can read the greens finally for an eagle which we get which are rare collectors items for me these days but it brings us to the 7-11 you know I like to be 7 under through 11 just gotta go 10 under through the next 8 holes 7 holes Fair play. This one now. Come on in. Let's just try and keep keep pace. I'm gonna hit the 125 straight up here. Touch a D laugh, touch a spin. To a nice 12 mile per hour wind. Should come round lovely and land on the pin. This is bound for the green. Which it does. Good work there. Great shot on your pitch. Here we go. This one for Birdie. Oh, this game. It giveth and it taketh away, doesn't it? So after an irksome opening nine, we're starting to cook now. Eight under through twelve. Finding our shots, if not our feet. So another tricky one. I'm going to go this side of the trees this time. Play it up right. The breeze is going to hold me up though. So let's loft it up a bit. And hope it gets through. Uh oh, clear it. It does. Hopefully this sticks to the <laughs> it's a cap ball. Yeah, oh my god! Or so. But I knew, I knew they would design it that you can get past those trees. There was no doubt in my mind. Hmm. Hmm. This is just the wrong distance all round for me. I'm gonna loft up to two thirty one. Now, hopefully, with the loft I put on that, oh, stuck down, but it kicked on, nicely. and we have a shot at it. You have this putt to get down to nine under... <sighs> Come on, then. Let's hit it straight, at least. Oh, I didn't hit it straight. It's going to turn left, is it? No, perfect. That was fantastic. Here we go, boys. Nice. Finally getting a run together. Finally getting a run together. Hadn't put a run of birdies or eagles together this whole round so it's nice to see nine under through 13 i'm gonna need to pretty much birdie every hole then hope chris has a disastrous next round so let's loft this up we can clear this ravine quite comfortably get ourselves down there let's just leave a wedge in it's tidy this is a pitch in shot number two on Hole number 14. Full off, full spin. This wind is going to take us. Oh, my backswing took us left. Oh, Not the kick. wind. The wind in my backswing made that super awkward. That's going to run off this green. Stop. This is what our third shot's looking like. We're putting. We're putting. And we're going to take the break out by blasting this. Right, left, left, right. Let's go. That should come back to the right. It does not come back to the right. Didn't take any of the turn I saw, which you can see there. Looking back, it is moving. Right to left, past the pin. So it didn't take that break. I hit it too hard. I said I'm going to blast in, take the break out, and that's exactly what I did. And we stick at nine, and our three-hole streak <laughs> comes to an end. Uh, that was my fault. 
not the greatest shot in and 900 for 14 ain't gonna cut it most people struggle and around this course but with a par five. Chrissy Boyer was like nah make this course his bitch which he duly this did was to die for. I need this wind to bring me back more than that what are you doing wind that is a 15 mile per hour left to right wind now I'm screwed so I'm gonna have to aim at the trees the oh no all right this is it guys this is how we play this game that's not getting there is it bounce <gasps> wow we got a putt we have a putt the eagle has landed damn right john all right drop this putt and secure that eagle oh this is just horrific so let's go two squares bank on the movement at my feet get go away can't handle that power bar being up there bank on the movement at my feet then it should just straighten up didn't quite get the movement at my feet it did straighten up but this is going to keep going this is going to go for days stop just a little too much power right, let's blast this back up this hill go away i wish you could turn that off it's a terrible putt but it makes it Good work out here today as we head down the final stretch. We I mean, 10 under. 10 under par. Birdie, birdie, birdie gets us to 13. It doesn't really make up the ground, as I said. This is like a FedEx Cup style playoff, so it's like 6, 4, 3, 2 right points, I think, left. or something. I think I'm at the 2 point mark. I will check. Oh, I'm going to hit the 193, loft it up, let this wind bring me back right to left. It's going to take me too far, isn't it? Too far, too hard, wrong choice. I thought the loft, I thought that wind had a little bit into us, a little bit of a headwind. It wasn't. It was just a pure right to left. Okay, we, have a, on the green. we have a chip. Move on. So let's put it in. <laughs> well judged on that one. Ugh. Sitting at 10 under after that one. Well, that is disappointing. So can we get the 12? Can we get to 12? And now teeing off on a par four. Oh, the winds have gone wild on us, guys. Wild. So, this is going to be fun. Play it out over the water. Comes back in nicely to the middle of the fairway. Okay. Good one. All right, we've got an elevated oh, <laughs> we are playing target golf in 17 mile per hour winds. Going to hit the 170. Well, this should come round. I think I'm good. probably giving it a bit too much with that push at the top of my swing, but it would have been glorious without it. It's a nice shot. It's a tricky, tricky nice. shot in there Here's in 17 the mile per hour winds. God, I loved it. I loved. I just love the challenge of these. It's demoralizing to see boys just tear it up who are just that good, but you know that's the fun. I got to get better. Putt appears to be online. But we make a putt. And we've given ourselves a chance at 12 under, which for me, round here in these conditions, as I said at the start of this round, in these major on these major courses, 12 to 14 is a good, good score, and it's got Chris Vintage and myself and Hig Daddy there. All right, let's see what we can do off the tee here. It's a long par four. Well, this, this hopefully just, should fill back into that fairway. Not put any loft and spin on that one. I wanted to hit that clean like and give myself a shot in. Four strokes off the lead. I got a one two five. I'm gonna hit a one two five. Don't think I need the loft actually. I'm gonna hit the one two five up straight. Come on. Oh, 95% power and slow. What am I doing there? For some reason, I felt the lag. I know it sounds like an excuse again, and Matty J is full of excuses, but I felt the right lag in my swing there, the and I was like, what is going on? The vibration felt really early. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I'm imagining it, but it felt it felt laggy. It felt like I tried to bail out of that swing, and then I didn't. Okay. We have a putt. 20 feet. 
two squares, curl it in. Let's go. It's a two square curler. Looking super. Oh, and it is a two square curler, as these things usually are from 20 feet, guys. I think the game just plays it out like that. Check out my putting video if you want to see more hints and tips like that. There are loads in there. But there we go, guys. There's a 12 under in the first round of the FedEx Cup style playoffs from Diamond Pond Divisions. Hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed playing it. Didn't enjoy seeing Chris at the top of that leaderboard <laughs> with a six shot lead. He's at 21. I think my two puts me at 14. So that's, that's the win out the way. But me and Vintage Tech can battle it out for second spot and I can be a bridesmaid again. Anyway, I will catch you all soon. Peace out. Much love and have a fun weekend.